Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 1st of 2023. Well, it is titled Milky Way Rising. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, we see some of the telescopes of the La Silla Observatory in Chile. And beyond it, we see our Milky Way. And in fact, just a small portion of our Milky Way around the central region of our galaxy. So what we'll be seeing here is near the constellation of Sagittarius. And that is where the center of our galaxy happens to be located. Now we can't see the center of our galaxy, it would be incredibly bright were it not for all the dust. This would be one of the brightest objects in the sky, because of the great amount of stars concentrated there. However, we're looking through the plane of our galaxy. And that means we're looking through a lot of dust clouds and that dust cloud blocks out the light from behind it. So you can kind of get an idea of this by looking at some of the regions here off to the right, you can see some very bright areas and that dark patch towards the middle where we have one bright red nebula and a couple other nebulae it, that looks darker, if it were not for the dust would be even brighter, there would be even more material there we simply cannot see it in the visible portion of the spectrum. Now we can see it in radio waves and the brightest radio object in the sky is the center of our galaxy. And in fact was the first object to be detected with radio waves back in the 1930s by Carl Jansky. So we have a very bright object here, but it's hidden from our view and from view of telescopes like the ones we see that really do not allow us to go through to look through that dust. In order to do that, we need infrared and radio waves that are much longer wavelengths and give us a chance to peek through that dust to see what is behind. So we can actually study the center of our galaxy in great detail with radio observations. Those very long wavelengths penetrate all of that dust and give us a view that we would otherwise un be unable to get. Now here with the observatories in the foreground, we get to see what our Milky Way looks like in a very deep image here. Now some of the telescopes here including the one uh, is the left on the left is the new technology telescope. Now this is one that actually started the idea of what we call active optics. And that means that the telescope becomes deformed. Normally and in the past you'd want the telescope ground to very precise specifications, extremely smooth. However, our atmosphere is turbulent. And because our atmosphere is turbulent, it distorts the light coming from the stars. So that we get less clear images because they are blurred out by the atmosphere. If we can then take that into account and measure the turbulence in the atmosphere and then deform the mirror very slightly to take that into account, we can subtract out the effects of the atmosphere and essentially simulate on Earth the observations we would be able to get from a telescope in orbit. So that's what the new technology telescope actually started here and that is something that is very commonly used with large telescopes today. So that was our picture of the day for December 1st of 2023. It was titled Milky Way Rising. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.